Good morning students. Welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka, aka Sam Dom for Peace. In this video session, we shall install uh, Apache, MySQL, MySQL, and PHP, uh, otherwise known as the AMP stack, AMP stack, AMP stack. We have several software packages that are open source that we can uh, use to install this. We have uh, the uh, we have the WAMP. Let me type it out here. We have the WAMP, which is a. Let me make this Times New Roman size fourteen or size sixteen. So we have the WAMP, which is a Windows Apache. My SQL and PHP. We have the MAMP. Uh, MAMP is now, you know, the one for MAMP is now My Apache, uh, My SQL, My SQL, and PHP. Initially, it was for Mac, but they now have it for Windows. So this is for uh window this is for mac and windows this uh the wamp is for uh windows is for windows only uh we have the lamp which is for linux uh this is for linux and we also have the zamp zamp uh, this is uh, for both Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. Xamp uh, is a cross-platform. Uh, Apache, MariaDB, and PHP. Uh, that is the Xamp. However, uh, they it used to be one with ZAMP. ZAMP has a ZAMP used to be cross platform Apache, MySQL, Perl, and PHP. Uh, that is what ZAMP used to be cross platform uh, Apache, uh, MySQL, MySQL. Actually, this is one word, uh, Perl, and PHP. However, uh, they now have changed the MySQL to MariaDB. And we are not going to talk about it now, but the one we are going to use today for this video is this, MAMP. Uh, MAMP is pretty much easier to install, if you ask me. <coughs> and um, it's not it's not really a prop it's not a big problem like the others uh, so this is what we're gonna use I'm, I'm not saying the others are problem but you know you want something that is uh, easy for you to do okay so I'm gonna type a uh, mamp here I will just type mamp and this is a mamp and mamp uh, pro so I'll click on it and this is uh, what it gives us here, mamp.info uh, slash en. I want the free version, of course. So I click download. And here I have uh, for Windows. Windows is here. This is for Windows. And uh, I will just click. This is mamp and mamp pro. But don't worry about the pro, okay? So I just click download. And I save this. I save as. Uh, I'll save this under downloads. Uh, and I just leave it like this. Make sure it's under downloads. I click save. So 
actually with this uh the name was changed after oracle uh, oracle acquired the mysql oracle bought it so uh maria db is a uh, is a fork of mysql uh, this is what i mean here so you don't say i cost uh, is a fork of uh, mysql and uh, uh, so uh, it's just the way, fuck of something is they take the original uh, source code of a of a uh, of a software and they now independently build on it. They take a copy, a copy of the original source code of a software. And then independently build on it. Uh, so we say it's a fork of that. That is a technical term. So uh, it's running security scan. It has finished downloading. We click run. <coughs> uh, it will take some time. Okay, we want to allow this. Click yes. And I'm using Windows 10. I am using Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10 operating system. Okay. And I think this will also is this should also work for Mac as well. Mac operating system. So I click OK. English. Click next. Uh, I don't want this MAM Pro. I don't want it. Uh, it has a trial version. It's a trial version. Uh, I think for 14 days, but I don't want it, so I uncheck it. Uh, I want the free version. I click next, and like most of us do, we don't read this, but you can read it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> click next, and we want it to install in this folder directly on the C drive under a folder called MAMP. So click next. Um, Setup will locate the program shortcut. That's fine. The program shortcut will be called MAMP. That's fine. Uh, under the start menu, which is right here. Click next. We want it to create a desktop icon. We do. So click next. And just click install. Okay. So we have to wait for it to install. Uh, it might take some time. Uh, as we are doing this, I want to touch on a few things as it's installing. Let's get back to the uh, desktop. So before now, I have this Microsoft Web Metrics. Uh, I am, I am a programmer. I'm also a web designer. So I use this. I also have NetBeans IDE. Um, and I used to have Note plus, Notepad++, plus plus, but I removed it. I have the Visual Studio here. So with Apache, uh, Apache uses port 80. And uh, Apache is a server, is a web server. The MySQL is a database uh, server. And of course, PHP is a programming language, is a server-side programming language. So, um, Apache uses port 80 and IIS, IIS means uh, Internet Information Services. Uh, it uses port 80 as well. So, and to get, you know, if, if you read the uh, several documentation on this, we want the Apache to function to utilize its maximum potential. We want Apache to still run on port 80. So, uh, and we don't want, uh, two programs cannot use the same port. They cannot use the same port. So what we are going to do is, we, uh, and why I chose MAMP. Why I chose MAMP is that with MAMP, you can either use different ports and we will look at it. We will see how it works when it finishes installing. Or we can also insist that we want to use port 80. We can also insist on that. 
So uh, we will look at several ways we can do that. We'll look at several ways we can do that um, to make sure that we still use port 80 and port uh, 3306 for MySQL. So what I just said now, I will type it, uh, Apache, uh, use this port 80, standard is port 80, and then MySQL, use this port 3306. And this is what we want, this is exactly what we want here. Uh, MAM also installs some other uh, web server which we are gonna look at and we can change that port as well so it's kind of taking some time to to download to install it has finished downloading so it's taking some time to install and uh, as it's still installing we are going to go ahead and I'm going to look for IIS internet information services so that I can uh, change the port I want to change the port so that it won't conflict with uh, port 80 uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I will uh, type here in Cortana IIS so it just gives me a folder IIS Express this is not what I need I want the actual program, the control panel for it. Um, so uh, I'm gonna type uh, turn Windows features on and off. Okay, to get to the control panel, turn Windows features on and on. So I get this here, and it's loading. So I see that the uh, internet information services is not checked. It's not checked. So I'm going to uh, check it. You know, and if you want to expand it to, I just checked it. If you point your mouse at it, it says internet information services provides support for web, FTP servers, and the rest of them. Uh, support for ASP.NET websites and the rest of them okay so if we expand this you will see this was checked if you expand this again this is the main thing that we want here IIS management console and it's checked already for us so that's fine you just leave the rest like this and you click OK so now we are doing this you will see the reason why i'm doing this uh, i am doing this because i need that iis uh, i need to get this i need to get the info uh, internet information services because you will see uh, be, uh, it will conflict the port conflicts with apache so i need to assign a different port an unassigned port to the iis because I want to use port 80 for Apache, I do. And I want to use port 3306 uh, for my SQL. So uh, that's why I'm trying to get the IIS manager. Actually, what I'm looking for is the IIS manager. That is what I need, Internet Information Manager. I need the IIS manager. Or you can say Internet Information Manager. Okay. Uh, please, let me say this. As at the time of this recording, this is uh, uh, 14th February 2017. Happy Valentine's Day anyway. Uh, I love your neighbor as yourself. So love, love uh, the agape love. That is what I'm talking about. Agape love. Okay. So if you have somebody who is hungry today, give him or her food to eat. Uh, donate to the poor. So that is the unconditional love. That is actually the Valentine love. That is the actual Valentine love. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is the actual Valentine love. 
So uh, software changes, it changes a lot. Um, I, tomorrow, so, something else might change. Okay, uh, this is the website here, but uh, you know, that's I'm just doing this at the time, the date of this recording. So, but this is open source, it's free. Uh, just know that this is today. That's I'm doing it this period. In case if you are trying to do this, let's say one year later, and you and you notice a different, uh, you notice a different interface or a different uh, a different look on the website. Right? So or you notice more functionalities, so that you can uh, know that software is continu continuously changing, is dynamic. Okay, uh, this is still loading. Now this Windows completed the requested changes, so I click close. <coughs> I just click close. As as this is still installing, <coughs> I'm gonna now type in IIS Manager. So if you type in IIS Manager, you now see it because I now checked that box. So I need this. I need it. Desktop app. I need it. And. Uh, here, this is my name, of course, Samuel Chukwe Mecca PC, localhost. I check, I expand this, I see sites, I expand the sites, and I have the default website, okay? And I have, once under the default website, I check bindings under the edit side. I check bindings, and I see that the HTTP hypertext transfer protocol uses port 80. So you see this, it uses port 80. Okay. All right. This has completed the setup. So I click finish. And uh, once I click finish, I want to let me get back to the desktop. Uh, Okay, let me close this first and minimize this here. Uh, I get back to the map. I double click on it. I double click to open it. Okay, so I have my map here. And like I said, it's my, uh, my Apache my SQL and PHP. As you see here, the Apache server is not running and the MySQL server is not running. So if you look at this already, I, I just, you know, I just uh, clicked on this to open it. It says Apache needs open port 80, which is already being used by another service or application. Please reconfigure Apache to use free port. Okay. So I say okay. But anyway, uh, I can just go to preferences first. Let's go to preferences. And here you have pods, you know, uh, you want to leave this. You don't want to stop servers when quitting MAM. Just leave it like this. I click on pods and see it has Apache pod is AD and you already see here from the uh, HTTP the hypertext transfer protocol for the IIS uses port 80 as well. So there's a conflict. Uh, we also have Nginx port, which is 80. We're not going to use this. The, if you click on web server, you'll see both the Apache and the Nginx. Okay. Uh, we shall uh, change this port soon. And then my SQL port is 33 or 6, which is nice. That's what I want. But you with this MAM, you can just say set MAM ports to default. So it is, if it's set to default, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this port 8888, port 8888, because this kind of tells you that no, no other application is are using this port. No, no other applications are using these ports. So I would like to 
change the HTTP port to 8888 and then I leave Apache port to be 80. That is what I want. But anyway, if you want, you can still set, if you click on set man post to default, it gives you this. And you can click OK. I just want to show you. With MAM, you can still use uh, different ports. Okay, but like I said, I want uh, Apache to be port 80 and my SQL Server to be port 33 or 6. And once you click on this, it says Firewall has blocked some features. Uh, you want to make sure that if if this is checked, don't uncheck it. Okay, you don't want public networks. You only want private networks. This is my personal computer. So I will say allow access. This is for my SQL. Allow access. And then the Apache server firewall has also blocked some features of this. If this is checked for public networks, make sure you uncheck it. Make sure it is only private networks that are checked. So you click on allow access. And then uh, you now see that this is now green. Okay, this green here and this are filled green tells you that the Apache server is running and MySQL server is running. So you can just click open start page. If you click on open start page, it gets to the it gets to this uh, port eighty eight eighty eight map. Okay, I'm just gonna close this here. That is the main side. So you see that this is port 8888, um, which is using. And then if you come here under my SQL, you see it's using port 8889. The username is root and the password is root, which I'll come to this later on. So, but I want, I want, uh, that is not what I want. I want, uh, and you can use this if you want to, but that is not what I want. I want this back here. I want to go back to ports and I want it to be ports 80 and 3306. I want it. But if you click OK, it won't work because uh, some uh, the HTTP uh, is using port 80. So it will give us a message that is not going to work. OK, so what I'm going to do now, I go back to this here. I, under the first side, default website, under uh, edit side, I click bindings. I get this uh, HTTP. I click edit, and I'm gonna change this to 8888 instead. I want it 8888 instead. So I click OK. I click OK. I click close. I come here under manage website. I stop this, I wait for some time, then I start it, I start it. Then I just close this, I close this. So after this, I click OK. Then I go back to preferences and under ports, I want this. Then I want, let me, I want uh, this engine spot, like I said, the applications should not use the same port. So I just put 8080 for this spot. I put 8080 for this spot, uh, for the engine spot, which I'm not using anyway. But I don't want it to be the same port with Apache port. And then I just click OK. Uh, once I click OK, I see uh, I allow it. OK, so there is something else that is using port. I still get this message after I have changed the HTTP. So that tells me that there is something else that is using port 80. And those things might be, if you have Microsoft Web Metrics, if you have Visual Studio, if you have Skype, <coughs> excuse me. So this might be using port 80. Okay. So this is another thing I, I, uh, I do. I'm going to go to command prompt, uh, to the command line, command prompt. I right click. I right click, I run as administrator. And I click yes here. I want to make changes in, 
I want to do this. So what I'm gonna type uh, is uh, I'm gonna type this command. Uh, I'm gonna stop the web deployment agent service. That is what I'm going to stop. I'm going to uh, web deployment agent service. I will stop it. I'll stop it. Okay. So what the so the command I'm gonna use is I will type a uh, net stop uh, net space stop stop space uh, msdev msdep svc. Okay. Stop the. Uh, Microsoft Web Deployment Services and I click enter so it says the web deployment agent service is stopping and it was stopped successfully and I just click exit I click exit remember I typed NET stop MSDEP SVC I'm gonna type it here in the command line you type net in this case net uh, stop msdepsvc okay type in the command in the command line console application command line windows console application so this is what i typed here Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna click OK here, uh, and uh, I go back here. I go to pods. I still have this. I click OK again, and see whether it works. I allow it to run. So uh, let me click on this again. Pots, use this here. Then I click OK. And I click Start Servers here. Yeah. I have to click Start Servers. Yay! It works now. <laughs> it works now, right? Okay, so uh, and you click open start page and it it is now if you click open start page it's no longer port 8888 again. No, it's no longer this. Actually, if you refresh this now, you will see it's not gonna work. It's not 88. It's not uh, this Apache again because we've removed it. It's now only localhost slash map. So it now works and our my sequel is now 3306 okay we're gonna stop here for today the next uh, video we shall look at the uh, uh, php my admin and uh, we'll continue from there uh, if you have any questions if it is windows 10 i can try if it is mac i am not using mac <laughs> for now okay so but one thing you might want to do is go to uh um community.apachefriends.org okay you can get a lot of information there www.community.apachefriends.org uh, and you can ask your question you can ask your questions there uh mamp also have a community uh they also have a faqs here that you can look at as well you can look at the the faqs here okay uh we will stop here today we have a lot to do uh, regarding uh, databases but at least this is the first thing you need to do and we'll just after this now we'll just quit this and close this so for now 
have a great Valentine's Day and show love to the community. Okay, help poor people. And you have a great day.